Thanks, Bob. Well, this is a wild weather day today. Wet weather causing floods or backups in parts of Utah. ABC 4's Kayla Baggerly is live out there. And Kayla, you were out there earlier when cars were just driving up to their headlights in water. Yeah, Nick, the weather looks really calm right now, but that was not the scene earlier. We were out here when it was pouring rain and these roads in both directions were flooded, causing some cars to get stuck. People are definitely sliding around a little bit on the road. I saw some Snapchat stories of my friends and they're like, Utah's flooding. Here you see flooding on roads at an overpass in South Salt Lake in Bountiful and causing closures in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Even several cars getting stuck. Trooper Mike Alexander with Utah Highway Patrol saying with the weather today. Once the rain started, yes, we had several crashes come up um, the Salt Lake Valley. He says if you do come across standing water, try to judge if it would be best for you to pull over and wait it out and try to find an alternate route when possible. But if you do have to drive through it, do so as carefully as possible. A lot of times um, it, you can make it through if you're going a little bit you know, slower. If you're going really fast, then you're likely to hydroplane or shoot water up into your engine bay. On days like this, he says remember to do what you can to stay safe on Utah's roads. When rain um, is around, you know, poor weather, we really need to dial it back a little bit. Slow down, leave a little bit early, give yourself a little extra time, uh, make sure you're increasing your following distance, and then just maintain your vehicle and, uh, and be cautious. UHP says that if you do happen to get stuck in standing water, call 911 for help. They say if you try to get out and push the car yourself, you do put yourself at risk of injury if another car does lose control in the water. Reporting live in South Salt Lake, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News. Thank you, Kayla. Well, today's Salt Lake City Police arrest.